March is Women's History Month, so we decided to update our story about how many companies have zero female board members. The results? Still lousy. 216. That's how many companies have absolutely no women on their boards in the Russell 3000, according to Equilar. 7%. And that's actually progress. A year ago, that number was double. Now, we found many consumer companies that cater to female customers are among them. J&J Snack Foods, they make icy and slush puppies. LaCroix Parent National Beverage, all male boards, despite the fact that women drive 70 to 80 percent of consumer purchasing in households. Cryoport, a company that offers fertility services, popped out on our list. We reached out to all of these companies, by the way, and received mostly no response when we simply asked why. Turns out 13 consumer-facing companies have no female directors. Again, better than the 29 we found last year. On the bright side, some names that added a female board member since we called them out last year. Skechers, TripAdvisor added a few. Pilgrims. It is shocking, guys, in this sort of woke corporate moment of ESG, the G being governance. This gets it directly at that issue. Some companies don't feel the pressure to act. It's no secret that board diversity is tied to better performance. So why is it happening? Well, one reason is we looked at a lot of these companies and so many of them that have little or no female, uh, that have no female board members have little or no female executives. Alico, an agriculture business, Rev Group, which makes RVs and school buses, no female top execs. Even Navistar, $3.6 billion company, has mostly male C-suite. So the culture really is insulated at the top all around, and I think that goes into finding board candidates as well, and these companies just don't feel like they need to do that. What, what do you make of that announcement we got from David Solomon and Goldman Sachs uh, a month or so ago that they're not going to take companies public now unless they've got a, a woman on their board? It, it's certainly progress, and I think you have that, and you also have California now mandating it, mm -hmm. literally charging a penalty if you don't have a female on your board. So there are steps in the right direction, uh, but again, it's not enough. I mean, yeah. you have countries in Europe where they have to have 40 percent of the mm -hmm. board being female. Uh, so clearly there's a cultural issue and while there's pressure from investors, a lot of these smaller companies yeah. in the Russell 3000. I was wondering how many of the almost 200 companies now do have a female board member this year versus last year are in California. And they just essentially had to. Well, Skechers to is do one. It. Yeah, there you go. Had to do it, uh, and, and we reached out to that the one that ships IBF services oh, in particular, yeah. and asked them because they used to be in California, have moved their headquarters, but they say that that has nothing to do with why. Uh, we will hope the gap keeps closing next year, albeit uh, progress is slow.